Star Charge, which is a Singapore-based company, has just launched their game-changing Halo V2G directional charger in Australia, and it's about to revolutionize the area. I think it might even be cheaper than SIG Store. Let's see. That's not confirmed yet. Here's the big deal. The Halo V2G is bi-directional, meaning your car doesn't just take energy from the grid. It can send energy back as well, which potentially in the future, if Amber launches its V2X product, could mean you could make money from your car exporting electricity that it's storing in its battery out to the grid when there's a big storm outside like there is in Sydney now and the wholesale price chart prices for power are really high. After several years of development, Star Charge has created a charger that comes in 7.4 kilowatt and 11 kilowatt options with 96% efficiency. It's already passed Australian compliance tests and received key network approvals. I'll have some more information from the Ausgrid, which is the main electricity grid provider around Sydney soon, later in this video. But here's where it gets exciting. Vehicle to grid technology means your EV charges, potentially, if you set it up properly, when electricity is cheap, free, or even you might get paid to charge and then can sell energy back into the grid when peak times are happening and prices are high. Your car could literally help pay for itself and make the grid cleaner, pushing out coal and gas power plants and making them shut down earlier. As Star Charger's CEO puts it, they're building a unified, intelligent ecosystem connecting vehicles, homes, and the electricity grid. This isn't just a product launch. Hopefully, it's one of the first of many different vehicle-to-grid DC fast charging and AC slower charging options to enable you to easily connect your car and export energy to the grid when it can help earn you money and stabilize the grid and make it work better. How good is that? Let's hear hopefully more about testing of this with real life people. And I'll show you an example, Ausgrid testing what looks like an MG4 and a Zika at their Sydney headquarters. Over to you, Ausgrid. This is not sponsored, just FYI. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. It's great to be here this morning, a very cold morning, checking out some of the newest technology that Ausgrid's trialing. Uh, we're trying to get ahead of the energy transition. There's so much happening. And electric vehicle charging gives us a huge opportunity to make more out of these rolling batteries and integrate them into the system to support the energy transition. It's really exciting because it, it really lets us turn an electric vehicle into uh, part of the energy transition. It's a battery on wheels and it lets you generate um, revenue by exporting the capacity in the electric vehicle back into the grid. And that battery is actually six times the size of a standard battery. A customer, when they're not using their car, having their car plugged in, and if energy prices go very high, it's possible for them to discharge into the system and, and profit from that. Or they can store their solar in their car during the day, and when energy prices are high, they can consume their own solar rather than relying on energy, high energy prices. So this gives customers the ability to save money whilst at the same time using their vehicle to support the energy transition. We're excited to see how this technology will enable customers to play a much more active role in the energy ecosystem. They can turn their electric vehicle into a valuable resource that can support the energy transition, their homes and earn them income. We see so much change happening in the energy industry, intermittent renewables, electric vehicles, solar PV, home batteries. And we know we're gonna have a much more distributed and fragmented uh, energy system with generation coming from many millions of sources across the community. So at Ausgrid, we're determined to get ahead of that trend and understand the impact that these sort of changes will have on our network and support customers making the sort of choices that they want to make that will reduce their energy bills and let them support the transition. So customers can install this type of charger at their home and it, it doesn't matter if you have solar or don't have solar, you can install the charger and you can um, absorb the lower cost electricity during the day when solar is prevalent in the electricity network and then you can export it at night when the prices are higher and you, you can turn your vehicle into a revenue generating asset. As we see in the market, the, the differences in prices during the day are huge. And so for a customer to be able to charge their car when prices are low or negative in the middle of the day and then discharge when prices are very high, often in the evening, gives them an ability to use their car to lower their energy costs, which is great.
And we know that the cost of running a vehicle that's an electric vehicle is much lower than a petrol vehicle already. And so this technology allowing them to turn their car into a, into a cash machine effectively by discharging when prices are high just reduces the cost uh, to, the, to, to the customer of owning an EV. Car purchases are big emotional purchases for most people. And not only now will it be your car and your transportation, but it can also be a revenue generating asset for you where you can participate in part of the energy transition. There's so much change happening and we've got a huge responsibility as the network operator to make sure that the changes that the customers want can be accommodated into the system in a way that, that benefits uh, everyone. So we're trying to encourage customers to use the, the network in a way that gives them what they need, but at the same time gives them an opportunity to profit from supporting the energy transition with the assets that they've, uh, they've purchased, whether that be an electric vehicle, solar PV or, or a home energy system. We'll be looking at, uh, at where the right place to, to roll those, the, these sort of charges out. Where's the customer demand? I mean, when you're charging at home, often your, your car's plugged in, it might be full. So that's a really good use case for when uh, vehicle to grid discharging into the, into the grid might work. But we'll look at uh, curbside charging and other opportunities uh, where we can get uh, value out of a charger in the, in the street, discharging back into the network, then we'll, we'll trial that as well. We've yet, yet to see how it'll work out, but it's exciting times. Customers wishing to install a CEC approved bi-directional charger can do this via the Osgrid connection process. Email eg at osgrid.com.au. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.